Hey, how you doing? This is John and welcome to John's Longbox. Today we're looking at Good Girls issue number three. I forget what year it is, but this is by Fantech Graphic Books and it's by Carol Lay. Look at that bizarre cover. I, I, I don't know, I, I really enjoyed this comic. So first off, let, let me just say I never heard of Carol Lay before or since. She did the six issue series and uh, I, I absolutely love it. I bought it by accident. I thought that this was uh, Hernandez Brothers. I don't know why. I bought it years ago. And when I realized it wasn't the Hernandez Brothers, I, j I just left it in my two-read box. And I forgot about it until I started doing my unread comics. And I said, you know what? L let me get this over with. It's been sitting in my box forever. And I'm glad I did. So let's open this up and check it out. <clears throat> uh, I, I reached out to Carol Lay. She got back to me and she said... Uh, to, to reach back out to her in August. So we'll see, I'd like to talk to her. Okay, so here we have all the credits created by Carol Lay, uh, editorial coordinator, Gary Groth, Doug Erb, Kim Com uh, Thompson, M. Thompson, M. Savage, and Rachel Enger. I don't really know much of them. And I must have this woman. So let's look at the, 1988. Okay, so this is Irma Van de Kamp. Uh, her family was uh, rich uh, in business. You know, they just say business. We don't know what. And uh, she's heir to, she inherited billions. So she's the richest woman in the world. And when she was a little girl, her family went on safari and uh, they they went where they shouldn't have gone. And, or may, I don't know, they just said that they were attacked by monkeys. And the, the, basically the parents were like devoured by b baboons and the monkeys just ignored her. I guess she wasn't threatening. I don't know. And uh, uh, the the Bongo Bongodians uh, took her in and raised her as her own. And this is what they did. You know, you see the the tribes in Africa. They did these the scarifications and extended lip and this nose thing. So that's what. She, it, so she was a white girl. She grew up like this. And as far as she knew, that was her world. She thought she was beautiful. You know, that was what they did for beauty standards. But the problem was. She was rejected by all the men in, 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 the, in, in the tribe. And uh, they said that the white skin made it that she was possessed. And uh, eventually she, was, she knew she was going to be accused of witchcraft and, and, and put to death. So she fled. So she has no place. So she fled. She found other white people. They brought her back to civilization. She found out that she's super rich. But she has this. And people just, you know. Guys hit on her because she's super rich, but they can't control her dis disgust. So she's just lonely. She she fits in no place, and she doesn't want... She, they, they keep bringing up, like, why don't you get plastic surgery? She doesn't want to because that's who she is, you know? And here she is waking up. And this was a guy blind. They legitimately loved each other, but she would... He, he, you know, blind people want to touch your face. She kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off until he touched her face, found out what she really looked like, and he got disgusted by it. You know, he freaked out. Now, there's some sort of... Uh, you don't really know. You know, he... I, I, I'm a little bit sympathetic because he could see. He lost his sight. You know, he's like a blind lawyer now. But, you know, no daredevil powers. And, uh... He freaked out and left, and now he's he's coming back. So like, she doesn't know. Does he is he coming back for the money? Or is he coming back for for because he likes her? Now, he's coming back for the money, but he ends up falling in love with her. So you know he's kind of a jerk, but does he redeem himself? You know that you, you'll be the judge. So he's waiting outside of her door. She won't answer the door because she's mad at him. And then uh, what happens? She gets kidnapped. So they punch out her lip. They, they grossly put the lip distender out. And he's just like, what's going on? He goes to fight, but he's blind. You know, he's not born blind. So he, he, they trip him up. He gets, you know, these two guys are like, you know, did you get a look at that mug in her face? You know, they're making fun of her. And she can hear everything. You know, so she, poor girl. You know what I mean? She's kidnapped. She's terrified. And then they're making fun of her. You know, they, they throw on this boat. And... He's like, we, we got to find her, he, you know, so now he's, he's spending his money. You know, he's, he's well to do himself. He's, he's a lawyer. So he's flying around the world to try to find her. She's brought in to this island. And this is the first thing she sees this woman with the neck, the big fat girl. And she's like, what's going on? And like, here's your lip plate, you know, cause she feels embarrassed without it. You know, that's part of her identity. She, she, you know, she's turned around private to put it back on and they're telling her 
that the man who runs this island is a weirdo and he likes bizarre women he, he says freaks he likes freaks so he had the bearded lady here you know the, this woman with the with the extended neck the, the fat woman who's always I'm starving you know and then her and uh they're like no he's not bad he's not a bad guy he, and she's like well why did he kidnap me he goes because he's crazy he's crazy he's not bad he won't hurt you you could leave anytime you want but uh she's like i don't want to leave the fat lady's like, I don't want to leave. This guy feeds me. He's the first person to ever not care that I was fat. You know, he doesn't make fun of me. He doesn't, you know, and he just he just lets me eat, do whatever I want. And she's like, I'm going to leave because she's, it's kind of funny. Like, she's a successful pilot. She's a successful accountant. She's, you know, so she's like, I got to get back to work. But he was nice to me. He goes, once you got over the rough welcome, you know, you'll realize that he's not bad. So as she's walking, they find this woman in a cage, you know. You could figure out why she's here, what her freak of thing. And this woman is just nasty. And they keep her in a cage. And it's like, yeah, you know, she says he's going to kill him. But, you know, he doesn't, you know, why he leaves. So she's like, how could he be nice and keep a woman in a cage? So she's eating, she's fat, you know, and they're talking about the food is delicious. You know, the island's nice, you know, and here she is. She's about to get undressed. She's about to change. And here he comes in. And this guy wears a hood. And he's just like, why do you wear a hood? He's like, nobody's seen his face. You know, and he's like, what, you coming to spy on me? He goes, I didn't realize you were getting changed. And, you know, he, she's actually wearing an ashtray because uh, the, the criminals took her lips. So he actually found her, her, you know, and each one's like a piece of artwork that's that's unique to the individual. So she finds it, gives it back to her. So now she's in a better mood and he's really nice. And then he goes, no, I think you're ugly. And she's like, what? He's like, shut up. He's like, do you really have a dual personality or are you just, he goes, neither, both. It's none of your business. So sometimes he's nice to her. Sometimes it's like a Monty Python skit. Every other like sentence is, is nasty. So he's just like, listen, there's something about you. I really like you. You're so unique. I, I think you're beautiful. And he reveals himself. Mr. Spruce, he's the two-headed man. One of them is nice and one of them is mean. You can see this guy. So he's like, well, nobody's perfect because I'm the stronger personality. I'm nicer, smarter, and I control 90%. And he goes, yeah, but I control the 10% in bed, if you know what I mean. And he's like, he's like, he's, so he's like getting mad at himself. Like, give me, well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And he knocks him out. So now when he knocks out the other head, he's, he's totally nice. And he's like, you know, I want you to stay, you know, blah, 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 blah. And he, he wakes up. He's like, you look like a mutt. And ha, 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 ha. So she doesn't know what to do, you know. He's sweet 90% of the time. And then sometimes... So here's the lawyer is looking for, her and these guys just see a blind guy coming down. So they're taking him for a ride. They're bugging him. They're driving him around in circles. It's actually pretty sad. So she's like, I don't know what to do. And now they're all finding out that he had two heads. They they didn't understand wh what his problem was. And they're like, yeah, I think I'm going to, you know, you're a friend. So these two actually become real friends that, that last throughout the series. So now he's bringing food to the, uh, the lady with three boobs. And... This guy punches the, the nuts. So now the bad guy's in control. And there you go. She loves, she's in love with the bad boy head. The good boy head is in love with Irma. <laughs> it's, you know, you can see what she's doing. What do you do? He's, of course, Dr. Ali, he pushes it down. What do you think she's doing? And the other head, he's like, it's like, what are you talking about? You got to get rid of her and her freak lip and everything like that. He's like, I can't. My, the other head likes it. He's my brother. So now he wakes up and she bashes their heads together and she escapes so she's homicidal but she's in love with one of the two heads she's in love with the other head one head's good one head's evil you know so now she's trying to kill fighting going on she hits her in the neck but luckily the uh, the gold you know I'll, I'll kill you you know I'll, I'll i'll kill you so she's taking the knife and you know it's just what's going on you two-headed freak you know and she goes to kill Irma, he jumps in front and chops off the bad head. He's like, oh, no, that's the head that she loved. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Look at this. Just insanity, gore, nonsense. It's great. You know, it's a great story. This really is a great story. So they, they put a tourniquet on it. They, you know, he already explained that he could live with the, the other head. But, like, just like she doesn't want to get surgery on her lip because that's who she is. He didn't want to have the other head removed because that's who he is, you know. And she's like, oh, my God, I can barely eat my sandwich. You know, and they're, they're nursing them back to health. The blind, meanwhile, the blind lawyer has been taken for a ride. You know, they're just driving around in circles and taking his money. They're, now they're taking his shoes and giving him smelly sandals. 
you see the heads over there and he's just like i love you and uh you know i want to be with you and now that the evil head is gone you know i won't insult you and, everything. and she's thinking about it she's like oh wow this is the first guy you know he's kind of different he's like come in and he's like hiya bidet face and this guy's talking he goes i must apologize for my worst task he made a plastic head put it back on and he's talking crazy so he's just mentally ill the head wasn't the excuse so you know he's pouring food uh, water into, into the dummy head and he's like you're mad he goes i'm flying you know so he's just insulting her so if he wants to be with her she's gonna be he's gonna be a jerk sometimes he's gonna be you know so she she doesn't know what to do he's like he's, and they listen to him he's arguing with himself he's gotten worse you know he's like don't you yeah. she's like i don't know what to do i'm gonna i'm gonna go home and of course she knows how to pilot the boat she goes up and she comes working for and then the lawyer He's just walking around town. He's absolutely broke. <laughs> He's like, but she's worth billions. He's worth billions, you know. And then he realized that he wouldn't have went through all of this if 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 he didn't actually love her. And then the three the three boobed girl becomes like a, a bad guy. She 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 comes like a super villain. She goes after her. It, it, it's her nemesis. It's 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 a really interesting, really bizarre story. And I just wonder. And if you notice, Miss Lonely Hearts wasn't in it. You know, Miss Lonely Hearts had two of the three stories in the first issue and then Irma just took over the series sometimes a character just just becomes the stronger more interesting character by far I I, I when I first read the I was like hey Miss Lonely Hearts is, is all right it's all right but I really like the Irma stories and now I want more you know I, I really really liked it I thought it was different it was uh interesting you know, and I can understand if you don't like it, you know, if mo most people are into comics or into superheroes and stuff. But uh, I don't know. I really thought it was an interesting, well done, well written, good story, uh, good, good, good storytelling and good dressmanship. She did everything right, you know, and, you know, I don't know. I could gush for another hour and a half, but that's the video. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye bye.